Hey everyone, it's Stefan at Lush and Salty Aquariums. Take a look at this fish tank. It's early July and this thing is just off the chain. The plants that are growing out of the tank are definitely growing out of the tank. It's beautiful though, the way it's wild but somehow symmetrical. Everything is doing just what it needs to do to maximize its presence and sustain itself, but yet the overall tank is in complete harmony. And you see that great white root there? That's actually coming from the pothos plant that's all the way in the corner there, lodging it into the substrate. And there's countless other smaller roots just splaying out on a diagonal into the mid center of the tank. Now this tank houses a whole swarm of Endler guppies as well as one fantabulous platinum half moon beta. And if he's predating on any of these Endlers, have at it brother because there's tons of them. I also have three lamp eye Killies in here and they seem to be getting on just famously with their other tank mates. There's too many fish in here, I get it, I know. I'd love to see some predation of the fry. And if not, I'm just gonna sweep the tank with my net, pull some out and feed them to my saltwater fish. Now that is the king male. He was the only male I had in here with this fat female. And this is all their fry. So if the males all look anything like this red fantail, or whatever the proper name for it is, I'll be really happy. I think that's a stunning endler. There's also a slew of ram's horn snails, autosynclus uh, algae eaters, some pygmy coris, and of course that beta, which I can't find, but I really wanted to just show off what this thing looks like in midsummer when the light comes streaming in uh, albeit from a north face so it's not direct sunlight except for a certain period of time during sunset but what i did and pardon me there with this camera move i planted these three emerged um i forget what they're called kind of a common greenhouse plant and I created a wall in the back so that their roots and their stalks, their stems, would block direct sunlight from coming in and creating algae inside the tank. And that seems to have worked. There's also a bunch of frog bit and duckweed up top, which helps to filter the water, especially with a population density like this. You see all those side roots and then the one main tap root. Uh, and that's what I wanted to see happen. I love using roots as part of an aquascape. They actually perform a function helping this uh, beleaguered uh, sponge filter do its job. At this point, I probably wouldn't even need the sponge filter. To be honest with you, there's so much plant activity, but I like having a little bit of bubbles in the water I'll move over to the other side. This pothos, which is the most common house plant, and lots of aquarists use it for just this purpose. You just stick a cutting in before too long. You've got what I've got. I'm going back into the tank, you'll see some dragon stone, some guppy grass, um, a little bit of Anubius petites in there along the uh, stone and the substrate to some degree. Obviously you don't put Anubius into substrate, but pieces find their way where they wanna be. And then you see that jungle of root structure where obviously the fry from these endler fish can go and hide and avoid being eaten. And that they're doing because there's a ton in here. I'd be happy to give some away if anybody's interested, hit me up. I mean, but look at this chaotic, glorious mess that is nature. 
This is a low tech tank, one simple nano light, 30 bucks, a sponge filter, and that's about it in terms of what I use. I, oh, there might be a heater in there, I can't even tell anymore. And obviously in July it's a it's unessential. But I think when I set this thing up uh in November it, it did help keep uh keep even guppies uh, happier. It's a myth that guppies like cold water, they will appreciate a warmer temperature for sure. I have too many ram's horn snails as well. I need to trap those, feed them to my pea puffers. Uh, and give them away but just wanted to show off the organized chaotic paradoxical joyful mess that is this aquarium okay everybody ciao for now and always keep your hands in the tank